Hi, it's John Coast Mace R&D. Today we have a 3.8 liter forward cylinder head on a welding bench. And we've found that there's a lot of corrosion damage over here. And we're going to have to try and fix that. And I want to show you how that's done. We're going to preheat the head with our oxyacetylene torch and then we're going to get after it with the Heliarc machine to weld this up since this is an aluminum head. It's a real common thing to happen on these. Uh, the head gaskets will get a little bit loose and they'll start to get old and fail and then they'll loosen up and cause this to happen. We're going to start the process by removing a little bit of this damaged area here so we have some good material to weld to. I've placed the head on a fire brick to keep it up off the bench so it doesn't suck the heat out of it as I heat it up. Alright, I've got the head heated up to about 450 degrees and I'm going to start the welding process. All right, we've got a weld just finished up here. We're going to take a hammer and hammer on this a little bit to consolidate the aluminum. Well, as you can see, we've got a nice bead of weld around there. Closed off all the impurities that were on the surface. And by hammering the weld after it's finished and that consolidates the aluminum to make it a little bit harder in that section there, which is a good thing. I'm going to let the head cool down for a little bit, and once it's cooled down to room temperature, then we'll go ahead and finish up our machine work on this, and we'll show you what we got when we're done. Well, okay, we're all done with this head. We finished up the valve job, and as you can see, the repair that we did, you can't even tell it was done. So, make sure you keep proper coolant levels in your car. Make sure you keep... Uh, an eye on the temperature and you won't have problems like this. For more information about cylinder head rebuilding, call John at Costa Mesa R&D. We'll see you guys soon.